Hi, I'm Todd with Whole Lot Pay Love. We have Mark behind the camera. Todd, what are we doing today? We're going to show you how to remove the panels on a Bezra Duo. Whether you have the one with the E61 or the Bezerra Group, works the same. Okay. So, what do we need? Well, we're going to dig around. Only two tools need for two and a half to three millimeter Allen wrench. That's all you need. And you're going to drain the boiler yeah. too, right? On the three millimeters, I hate to have the one with a little ball on the end. Of, that's that's important. Uh, makes it easy. Okay. First thing I want to do is I want to drain the boiler. So do that. Let the machine heat up all the way. Turn it off. Then open your hot water knob and just let it drain. And while it's doing that, I'm going to empty the reservoir. Get this out of here. So you don't have to move this. Mm -hmm. Uh, move the drip tray. And why drain the boiler? Because uh, we're going to be tipping the machine forward soon. Mm -hmm. And when we do, we don't want any water to leak out through the vacuum leaf valve. You probably will actually want to let the machine cool after that. Yeah. After this. Uh, but I'm a trained professional <laughs> and I can handle a few burns, so I'm just gonna. I see the band aid oh. on your arm there. What's the, yeah? Yeah, this thing cut me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so, so four, four screws up top there? Four screws up top. Okay. They come right out and pull the top off. Now I'll close my valve here. Mm hmm. Okay. No water on there. Okay, now. This is where the technique comes into play. So okay. Come in close. Yep. Take our Allen wrench. You need this style. And we gotta take a loosen this screw that's up in there. Okay, see that one there? Yep. Now to get to it, that back of them, mm -hmm. you have to come in at this angle like this with your wrench mm -hmm. to get in. That's why you need the one in the ball too. So you can get a little angle on it, huh? That's right. A little angle, and you give it a, a turn. You have to do this a few times. Now you don't take these screws out. You just have to loosen them. Okay, so that one's loose. Okay. Now the other side, I'll do the same thing. Put it in at that angle. Oop, wrong way. I think I've done this before. I've had this one off before and I kind of over tighten them. Okay, that should be loose enough. I'll give it another half turn just for the okay. fun of it. Okay, well now once those are loose, mm -hmm. we're going to tip the machine forward. We need a couple rags. Tuck things there. You're going to put one rag here so this doesn't cut into whatever counter or table you're doing this on. The sure. one here for the group to to lean on. Lean on, okay. So you keep her nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. Now there's a little bit of water in the reservoir socket that may do a drain out, but that's, that's okay. A couple drips here and there. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to take these screws right out here, the ones in the sides we pull out. There's okay. four screws total here. And these you can just loosen. So there's two on the back, you can yeah. just loosen. It requires a little more technique when you put it in to make sure you get them in there. So it might be easier just to pull them right out. Okay. Right, we'll just do that. Okay. I might have made an error in the beginning and said we need two Allen wrenches, but we only actually need one. Okay. Okay, now we got those out. We'll tip it back up. Kind of holding the bottom there a little yeah. bit. Now watch, take a look in here. Mm -hmm. That screw. See how it slides down? Uh huh. It slides down. Both yep. sides do. Both sides the same. Now we have one wire we have to undo here. This one here. This goes to the light in the back. So just just pull that off. It has the uh, the red and brown wires there. And that goes down into the mm -hmm. that just lights up that light in the back of the case. That's yeah. correct. Yep. Now let's see. We're just gonna. Some work it out here. Jiggering so around. Huh? Raise the machine up a little bit, mm -hmm. like that, and pull it, and just pull her out. Okay, it came apart pretty easy, and now let's put it back together. This time we'll just tip it forward. 
Stepping it forward makes it a whole lot easier to get it back a lot together, to right? Easier. Yeah. A lot. To, I see what you did there. Okay. Now, I'm going to slide this on. I have to make sure the wire here yep. stays accessible. Don't want to bury that. So you slide it down uh -huh. like this. Notice I'm down a ways from the yep. bottom of the machine. Yep. And then we got to line up our our phones here. Guys, right? Yep. Those guys. Oh, there. Those slides in, slides up. Mm -hmm. I'll connect this one later. I'll actually connect it now just to see where my wires there it is. That way, in case it falls inside someplace you can't find it, you yeah. know it's missing before you put the whole thing together. Right. I have to take it apart again. Then we'll put the bottom screws in. The bottom screws have the washers on them? Is that the idea? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. So it could be a little tricky. Mm -hmm. Get this, everything in right in right place here the first time. Once you get the first one, it should go pretty easy though. Because while you're doing this, our front will slide around a little bit. Right. So I may have to go back and forth a couple times. And you won't tighten any of them down yet. We'll just get even, them in there. Leave them kind of loose because mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a little. Exactly. Make sure everything's lined up proper. Yeah, my washers. For anybody wondering, that's the hookup for the water line. Mm -hmm. Leave that loose. That's for your drain line. Okay, now we got them in there loose. We'll tip this back up. That's well, a little tricky here, but we got to do is make sure we push up on this panel here and then tighten that down. So it looks like I've got it all the way up, which is nice. And then we got to get this. Remember the angle we had before? Give you the same angle again. Going in there with the angle, that's what makes that wrench with that sort of an end yep. <laughs> work a heck of a, exactly. a lot easier. Again, the little ball yeah. on the end. Now this, yeah. that's up already, that's good. So on these ones here, you're tightening those right down, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's not pretty good. Okay. Then we'll tip her back. And we will finish the process. Just tighten them up. A little quarter turn. Mm -hmm. Not even. Maybe eighth quarter, whatever. <laughs> whatever it takes. All right. Oops. Easy on it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then we'll get the top back on. Yeah, where did I put that? There oh, she is. Now, when this goes on, this piece here mm -hmm. pushes on this piece here. Right so there. it goes behind. Yeah, right. It goes like that. So it looks like. Yep, okay. And you got these four or more. I like to get the back ones first. Any particular reason? Yeah, because you have slots in the front here. There's more uh, flexibility in the front. Sure, okay. Yeah. Don't just tighten put, them yet. Just putting those in loose till you get stuff lined up. Yeah, just gotta make sure she looks right. I mean, eighth inch front or back doesn't make any difference. Tighten them down. And that's it. Done. Huh? Stop the timer. How long did it take? <laughs> okay. Uh, that's it. That's how to put the panels on the Vizera Duo, whether they have the BZ Group or the E61. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love. Oh.